excited about tomorrow. I'm going to Dartmoor camping for the first time. This is my OS Explorer 1 to 25,000 map of Dartmoor. And this is Dartmoor North. It's massive. Up here is a town called Oakhampton. All of this below Oakhampton is a kind of military shooting range. So you have to be careful what time of year you go into there. And this on the right is Towns, that's not part of Dartmoor. But flip the map over. And this is Dartmoor South, so it's massive. This is a town called Ivy Bridge. And all of this is walkable one day, but not for tomorrow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a place called Merryvale. Now I watched a video by a guy called Summit or Nothing, and he seems to know Dartmoor very well. And I'm taking his advice. He said this is a good place to come to practice your map explore, your map reading, navigation skills, and as an introduction to Dartmoor. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive to Merryvale, park at a car park here. Hopefully, we're going to go up to Cox Tor, then or around it, but probably to the top, round Cox Tor to Ruse Tor, and then. It's not clear to see on this map, but all of these settlements and blowing house remains of, you can't actually camp in this bit here, but we've looked that up on the internet, so we're not going to camp there. We're going to come back down to the road, which is the um, B3357. We cross that and we're going to go to King's Tor here and walk round King's Tor to Fogging Tor Quarries. Now, I think that's all about seven miles not taking into account topography so that's where we're hoping to camp and after that the next morning we're going to leave fog into all quarries and try and find this green path which i believe is the dartmoor way and then weave our way back up to merryvale and back to the car park and then home so just a one night's camping trip that is the plan but it might all change it's eight in the morning wearing sunglasses where are we going Dartmoor! We made it to Dartmoor. We're at Pork Hill Car Park. It's quite busy, look. And... That up there is north, and that's Cox Tour. We're going to go up there, and then we're going to go over there to Bruce Tour, which is Logan Stone. And beyond that, and we're going to go round to find King's Tor and then the quarry where we're going to camp at. So this is us heading north and that's Cox Tor. Straight path right up there so it looks like what five minutes to get there? <laughs> yeah. This is meant to be a seven mile hike to get to Fogging Tor Quarry where we're hoping to camp. So this is the first part, first trip to Dartmoor. Dartmoor. It's called Cox Tour. And now we're going to do a bit of map reading and get ourselves over to Roos Tour. Where I'm pointing with my finger now is Cox Tour. We're just taking a map reading to try and find Roos Tour. I'll show you in a minute where that is. But there's a little thing called Great Staple Tour and then this little pond here. So, with our super map reading skills, you can see the little pond there, and that's got to be Great Staple Tour there. And to the left of it is Roost Tour. And I say, that's where we're headed. To Roost Tour! So after confirming with the map, we think that one is Middle Staple Tour. Mm -hmm. You can see it. That one there directly ahead is Great Staple Tour. That one there is where we're heading to in a bit called Roost. And possibly, that one further away, is Great Mist Tour. Mm -hmm. And this here, it's a little bit of water that's on the map and it's only a little pond 
So it's pretty amazing. It's on the map. Oh, we're out in the wilderness now, Lisa. Dartmoor <laughs> wilderness. We haven't seen a soul for like five, <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> That's where we've come from, Cox Tour. It's the car park over there. Middle staple tour over there. And before we go to Ruse Tour, we're walking up to Great Staple Tour. So we'll have a little walk around there and then we'll go over there to Ruse Tour which is that one over there. Is it October? So anywhere north of here, at certain times of the year, you can get shot. She is map girl. No navigation. <laughs> you know where we're going. So we're going to have a map reading lesson by Map Girl. Well, show us what you do. Where what are we? Do. Okay, so we're on Ruse Tour there. Uh -huh. And we want to get to Blowing House Remains there. Yeah. So you get the map. This little bit here is not. But you, this, you want to point that in the way that you go in. So we're going that way. From Ruse Tour to, we're going to try and find this Blowing, blowing house. house. Yeah. And then you've got red lines on your yeah. swizzle bit. So you need to make sure they're lined up with the grid lines on, on the map. map. Yeah, yeah. And then you take it off. Yeah. And you get the red arrow somehow. We'll do it in a second into the arrow there. Yeah. And then it will tell you which Just way you need to it. walk. So we're going that way. We need to go that way. Cool beans. First river crossing. There's enough stones there to do it. Mm -hmm. Might get the sole of your boot wet. Never there, and that's Miss Tor? Yeah. Just navigate through the cows. They're fairly docile. That one's got horns. And now we're navigating a big old boulder field. Plonked down. <laughs> Have a little um, bar of chocolate, and we're going over that way now to King's Tour. It's about six o'clock. I reckon as long as we're pitched by eight o'clock, a couple of hours, we'll be fine and dandy. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's do this. And there are stone rows on the map, Just and. We've just come across stone rows, a row of stones. So we're going to take another map reading just to, for practice. And then we're going to find our way to King's Tour, which is probably that. But we're just practicing orienteering. So we're going to practice. Ah, oh, that way. Yep, as we suspected, Holmes. <laughs> Go show that. Hey, little thing, son. Little traveling, busy let. How long have they been there? How long have they 
they've been there. We've put them there. Well, they're well known enough to be on the map. It goes somewhere and it comes from somewhere. Another ah, mystery of the moors. Far off in the distance. Where are we going then? Right over there, you can see our car park. Yep. We've got um, Little Staple Tour. Yeah. Then Middle uh -huh. Staple Tour, Greater Staple Tour, Ruse right over there, which we've gone to today, and then over to um, Great Miss Tour. I think we might get some tour from them. We've got one down there. Pass that road. And now this one. King's Tour. And there's this convenient little path that takes us round Great King's Tour. Is it Great King's Tour or just King's Tour? King's Tour. King's Tour. Round King's Tour to Foggin Tour to Quarry, which we've never been to in our life. We're going to get there in daylight time. Which is a super brilliant place to camp and have some food. Pitch the tent first. Always. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Someone lives there. Yeah. <laughs> Guess they do. Good if they don't trample us in the night, wouldn't it? King's Tour over there. This is Fogging Tour Quarry, or part of it. We're just going to walk around for 20 minutes and see where's best to camp. So we've chosen our spot. There's a few people camping down there. There's probably about another three tents around the quarry. There's probably about three tents right inside the quarry. But we are by this. I've seen this on the internet. This is reasonably famous for these parts, I suppose. Home for the night. We have a pitch. It's not my best pitch. I'll be a dip in the middle. But it's all right. It's going to keep us dry and warm. We've got a cup of tea. We've got some sheep. We've got a sun setting in the distance. Absolutely perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Have you had a good day? I have, it's been great. First time on Dartmoor. Absolutely love it. It's a nice bit of peace and quiet now, drink our tea. Sunset. Happy camping. Well, that's the quarry over there, frog into a quarry. I don't know if you can see our tent. We're right by that building, but there's this convenient little path all the way down here. It's a viewpoint really at the end. I don't think we're going to go back tomorrow. I think I live on Dartmoor now. <laughs> I'm going to hunt caribou. I'm going to pick mushrooms. And I'm going to be a tripped out, meat munching, Dartmoor living hippie. That's me. That's it. I live on the moors. I've got tea. I've got a tent. More life. That is Tiger and Curry Hill. Which I'm going to put in that pot and have with water. First, we're going to have another cup of tea. Good morning. Good morning, Dartmoor. Let's have a look what we got. Oh. Oh, good morning, sheep. Uh, 
There's people over there. Now this is where we camped and as you can see we've left no trace which is really easy to do all you have to do is leave no trace there's our rucksacks and we're about to go to the quarry into a quarry cold water treatment in the morning it is really cold this is where we've just filled up the grail from so we've got our drinking water and now we're bathing in here <laughs> oh. 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 apparently this is good for you come and join me I am <laughs> see you in a sec oh. It's a good, good spot you've got there. We're going to have some porridge here and then some coffee. And then we're going to navigate our way back to the car park and go home. Can't do it, can't keep a straight face. Can't just <laughs> can't do it. Yeah, they have a nice spot up here. And one up here. I know the beautiful spot up here. I was laughing. Well we're just leaving the quarry after our swim and then breakfast. That's where we camp behind that ruin. And now we're going to do a circular back to the Pork Hill car park. We're on the back side of King's Tour. Nice little plunge pool down there. And um, this is Swelter Quarry. Just a little shelter. We've got three tours to pass. Heckwood, Feather and then Barn. And this has got to be Heckwood tour. 
Behind it in the distance is probably Cox Tor. And then we walked all the way around there as far as the horizon along that hill ridge that you can see. And then we walked through those fields somehow down and then ultimately back up this path. We just found some locals who told us that this cross is called Windy Post, not Windy Cross. And all what we've got to do is make it up there to that tour there, which is called Barn Tour, and then drop down into the car park. So we've done some successful navigation. Well, I've loved our first trip to Dartmoor. It's been great. We'll come back again. Absolutely. We're going to stop here and have some noodles. So that's it. There it is, the car park. Pork Hill Car Park. So we've safely and successfully navigated our way around a small section of Dartmoor, which we're both pretty happy about. Mm -hmm. And all we've got to do now is hope the car's there <laughs> and in one piece. Mm -hmm. And that's where the f we first went up, Cox Tour, the first one. Right. Nice. Brilliant. I love Dartmoor. <laughs>